actually. Joe, this is a shout out to you, you bollocks. Okay, you left that window open on a very chilly night, and I got a runny nose. Wait there till I snot all over you. Okay. Number two, you're an arsehole. Okay. Don't think I don't remember back in primary school when we were seven, and you robbed my number one Premier League sticker. Okay. I'm like an elephant, son. I don't forget. And let's just say your mother's like an elephant too, because she's fat, okay? She tried Pilates and all that, and she's not fooling anyone. She went out in high heels, and she came back in flip-flops, okay? She's not fooling anyone, she's fat, okay? Last week, you framed me on Facebook, and you said that I like men, okay? Well, Joe, you're a man, and I don't like you. So let's get that out in the open, okay? I don't like you. I remember last week, back of a Sunday in the restaurant, you made a holy show of me, okay? You knew that I had a strep throat from being up singing all night George Michael to the people at the Children's Communion. And you know I had a sore throat, so I clearly asked for mineral water, because I couldn't be handling any of that carbonated shite run down the back of my throat. But no, no, you went ahead and you ordered, and you howled at my expense, and you ruined my Children's Communion. Let that be known. So you won't be getting the invite to the confirmation, you big bollocks. You won't be getting it. Let that be known. I want to fight your brother, Frog Eyes McBean Ward, okay? And that's not a shout out at him having conjunctivitis as a child, because that's something that you'd do, okay? So I wouldn't do that. It's just, he looks like a fucking frog, okay? Sort that out. Go out and see someone. You also, last week, you changed the price of a packet of custard in my shopping. Don't tell me it wasn't you, because I know it was, okay? That custard should have cost me one euro twenty cents, but when I got up to the checkout, it was three pounds. Three pounds, Joe! That means you went all the way up the north to get a price tag that had pound on it. And I know you don't have a car, so you obviously went to a lot of trouble to do that. And I know that you were laughing at my expense when you were watching me leave that Tesco queue and go to the Bureau of the Chant just so I could feed my family a dessert after dinner. Now that's just uncalled for, and for that I don't really like you. You made a show me last week of my cousin's brother's sister's funeral. Okay? And now, because you know I can't break dance, and you made me look like a tit on that dance floor trying to do the worm. And then you reaped all the benefits, fucking off with Joe's big, your big brother Joe's sister's cousin, and you were down the back there kissing her, and I couldn't get any of that because I can't dance, and you know that. Okay, so you made me look like a right tit there. I'm furious as hell. You taped over all my episodes of Gossip Girl on the Digibox recorder, okay? I don't like the Big Bang Theory. But here's my Big Bang Theory. I fucking hate you. And I just want to fight you next week at SummerSlam, okay? I don't want any of this. I just want you to come out and fight me like a man. Fight me with what God gave you. These two fists. And don't get me wrong, the thing I'm most furious about is it all happened in the one week. You clearly fit a lot in, okay? Don't know where you found the time, but you made my life a living hell. And all I want to say is, when I bring you out next week to fight you in front of all the family and make you an absolute fool, we'll see then who really is the king of this castle in this vicinity or this area, okay? I hate you, Joe. I hate your brother who looks like a fucking frog. And I'm going in now to take a shit and pretend that your face is down the end of the toilet. See you later.